Hey there, welcome back to HGCF Serenity where we dive into an intriguing love story that captivate the world. Did you know that infidelity in marriages is more common than you think? Stay tuned as we unravel a shocking tale that will leave you speechless. Picture this, a devoted wife, a cheating husband, and a decision that stunned millions. Today, we unravel the story of a woman who faced betrayal in the most unexpected way, and the choice she made that left everyone talking. Our very own former president, Bill Clinton and the first lady, Hillary Clinton. Imagine the heart-wrenching moment when she discovered her husband's infidelity. The emotional turmoil she faced was unimaginable. But what really caught everyone off guard was the decision she had to make, a decision that challenged societal norms and tested her own beliefs. Looking into the reasons behind her unexpected choice to stay in the marriage. It's a complex web of forgiveness, unconditional love, and personal convictions. As we explore her journey, we unravel the layers of her heart and the strength it takes to choose forgiveness over resentment. Howard Kurtz of the Washington Post wrote, First Lady opens up about husband's trials. Hillary Rodham Clinton says her husband's sexual behavior may stem from a troubled childhood and that she is trying to help him with his weakness. I thought this was resolved 10 years ago, she said. I thought he had conquered it. The First Lady's comments, in the debut issue of Talk magazine, mark the first time she has substantively addressed President Clinton's relationship with Monica Lewinsky since her husband acknowledged the sexual affair that led to his impeachment. The First Lady once blamed the accusations on a vast right-wing conspiracy. She is dealing with the issue more directly as she gears up to run for a Senate seat in New York. Hillary's remarks make clear that she has forgiven her husband and adopted an elaborate rationale for how he could betray her with a White House in turn half his age. She never blames him for the affair or for deceiving her and the country. Instead, she says the president concealed the Lewinsky affair to shield her. He couldn't protect me, so he lied, she said. You know in Christian theology there are sins of weakness and sins of malice, and this was a sin of weakness. Despite everything, she said, we had love. Reaching for a biblical reference, Hillary recalled that Peter betrayed three times and Jesus knew it but loved him anyway. Life is not a linear progression. It has many paths and challenges. And we need to help one another. She was able to view his sexual transgressions and she admitted they continued off and on for many years as something that did not represent the whole of their marriage. And then came the pivotal moment, the wife's public announcement to stand by her husband despite his betrayal. The shockwaves of her decision reverberated worldwide, sparking debates on loyalty, love, and the true meaning of commitment. It was a moment that no one saw coming. In the end, the impact of her decision was profound. It taught us valuable lessons about the power of love, the complexity of forgiveness, and the resilience of the human spirit. The unexpected reactions from the public shed light on the intricacies of relationships and the depth of human emotions, unconditional love. What are your thoughts on this extraordinary love story? Share your insights in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more captivating tales of love, relationships, and the human experience. Until next time, stay curious and keep spreading love.